I still can't believe it's 44 degrees right now at 10 o'clock in the morning. Feels more like winter's on its way than fall. Well, hello, kindred spirits. I have a special video for you today. And you may ask, what makes it so special? Well, I wasn't expecting that the kitchen was going to start as soon as it has. You're going to see some of that work today. And I've also started working on the tavern. I'm doing some painting, I'm doing some wallpapering, and I thought I would show you the process. So if you'd like, grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea, your favorite libation, sit back and relax because you're gonna see some work being done here at Sugarwood. Well, so much for my very clean dining room. I now have one of my cabinets emptied out on it. But that's a good thing because we have something happening that was very unexpected. So this is why I have this. It's very early in the morning right now because I had our contractors here yesterday and this is gonna be maybe odd sounding to you, but we're gonna do some work starting today. When I say we're, I mean they, but I'm cleaning out cabinets. So this unit, we're going to try to take the doors apart and whatnot to see if it can be reused. If I can't reuse it somewhere, they're going to recycle it for us for another purpose. I just have the top shelf to still reach because I was doing that late last night. I have to clean out the pots and pans here because here's one odd thing that will be happening. We're going to be taking off this end cabinet, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, so that we can start, oh, once again, there I go, we, meaning them, they can start building the wall out and see what's behind this beam for the stove. So here's the weird thing that will be happening. They're going to actually cut the windows in. We got news that the windows won't even be ready until April. So that means this window, the two new ones on the end, and then the replacement for the rest of the windows, April. So here's the odd thing we're gonna be doing. This window, is going to be taken out and boarded up temporarily. They're going to put it on the end temporarily. I also had up in the loft over the garage, a nine and six sash window, no frame. They took that back to their shop. They're going to make a makeshift frame for it and they're going to put it on the other side. So, this week, if everything goes well, I'm going to have temporary windows at the end of the house. And they're also building out the fireplace box so that whenever the fireplace insert comes in, it can be attached. Their plumber's gonna be here end of October to hook up gas for that unit and also move the gas for the stove. So once again, unexpectedly, things are rolling along. I need to empty out this cabinet, which is just full of linens and whatnot. I'm gonna put a few of my pots and pans in there. The rest will probably go down in the basement for storage. So I'm gonna turn here, you'll see a little bit of a mess. It's just my purse and just some mail that came, but we took off the back the other day just to look at things. So once this end unit gets cut, we're gonna sh shift down one of these panels. I'm actually shocked this is happening so quickly. This is kind of starting with the barn project. We still haven't got a quote. <laughs> it's kind of scaring us. So we asked them to just give us a quote on just the barn, nothing else inside other than um, a little field stone hearth upstairs because Ben wants to have a wood stove and then that's it. No office, nothing for now. But this is an overview of our home the master, the main living areas. I'm standing right about here right now. And that, no, I'm sorry, where am I standing? 
I'm standing about here. And then our great room, the guest bedroom, and the bathroom. It's so weird to see it from this angle. And this was obviously before we removed all the trees. So these trees are no longer here. My garden beds, the patio, the sugar shack. I can still hear my morning voice, sorry. And the garage. So the proposal that we're working on is, here's our driveway. We have a, the double-ended driveway. We drive in and we drive into the barn. And this barn is not twisted the way we were discussing, but that's, that's for me just to play with some paper. Now let me show you the picture of the potential barn. So this is what we're looking at. We would, like I said, we'd just frame it out, a three car. And this would be the side that the driver would drive into. And this is the section that we would be looking at from the house and the door in the middle would be the only working door. And then Ben's office would be up top there. But right now, like I said, we're gonna build it without even the office, just to get the quote. It was exciting to see that come in. But like I said, more exciting that this kitchen project's moving along and that I might have windows for the weekend. We'll see, maybe next week. They're coming here because it's raining. And they're also going to start working on the butler's pantry. Now to find space. I my my space is at a minimum here. No big deal. I'll find out some places or find some places to put it. But pots and pans. This cabinet needs to be emptied. All right, cabinets are emptied, and this is what I ended up with. I literally have maybe a half an hour before they show up. So this, you know, they told me yesterday afternoon, but I had to do work and I went to the shop. So but this is what I'm dealing with right now. Pots and pans here. I'll figure out which are going to go down in the basement, which I'll probably keep in the green hutch once I refold a lot of my linens and put them elsewhere. I can probably put them in the drop chest here, the, the lift top chest the lift top chest. My mouth isn't even working yet this morning. Oh, and look, both lights are working. It must've been just a loose bulb. So at least that got fixed. Not by me though. All right, so I am now going to enjoy the coffee that I poured and start my day. Oh, no, I can't. I still have this part to clean out. I got this rocking chair to sell at the shop. I don't have the space. So right now I'm holding on to it. I don't know where I'll put that. And then I just have a few things hanging out here. That's not much. I think I should sit and have my coffee before the guys show up and probably should get out of my bathrobe. So what we have here is a gunstock bean. Wider at the top, thinner at the bottom. And it's nice to see what the original color of these beams were versus somebody went in and stained them dark brown. Well, here's the start of it. They did an exploratory hole. You know, we're just hoping to, we're wait, hoping to make sure there was no wiring. So at this point, at least not there in that center. It's a little chilly. They warned me that this is not gonna be functional windows. Of course, I knew that. We're not gonna have storm windows. I knew that as well. So it's gonna be a little chilly in here, but thank goodness, once this comes in, we'll have that heat. We have the heat of the mini split, and we also have the heat from the oil burner, if need be. But, hey, I was looking for my coffee. Microwave, thank goodness for microwaves. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let the painting begin. You're not gonna get the true color right now since I have some fluorescent lights inside that cabinetry, but 
I'm right now using the Rockport Gray. I just have one coat right here. And then once I have my second coat everywhere and nice and complete, then I will go in with the wallpaper in the background. And then I'll be taking care of the walls after that. At one point, the walls were blue. We're kind of going back to the same intensity though. That's a, uh, I like seeing that. Here it is the next morning. It is still fairly dark out. The contractors will be here in about 15 minutes. I did paint this particular unit and the color is really off because I have a fluorescent light in the background and we don't have any daylight in here right now. But I did get this unit painted. For some reason, part of it seems to not be taken even though it was primed first. It's the same thing that happened with the mantle in the green room. Uh, when we moved here, the brown paint that the previous owner put on was peeling. So I don't know what type of paint they used. I'm gonna say oil paint, but even with a primer, it should have taken. But anyways, I'm gonna move forward because the main area here is fine. Now I'm putting up this wallpaper, but it is very difficult because when I bend and crease it, it kind of like bounces back, very thick. It's like a vinyl. So something I thought was gonna be so very easy might be the hardest part of this whole project, including putting up the wood board and batten. But I will have this done today, I am determined. So I got my first piece up. I actually buttered the wall and then the back of the wallpaper or pasted it. But let me show you, when I put this up here, I usually can make a crease and either take it back down to cut it or I trim it in place, but it bounces right back. It's weird material. This sits up on the wall and I can cut and hold. I just need a nice, sharp blade. So I'm looking at this and I couldn't figure out why something was off. And I finally realized that this pattern is so similar, but it's different. So I was lining this one up, but you can see here, the pretend stitch is at the top. And over here, it's not. So I have a bigger repeat than I was thinking. Luckily, I have more shelves and this piece can be used again, but that is why I was getting so frustrated along with fighting with this wallpaper that is very tough. But at least I figured that out. All right, cabinet doors are off. Unfortunately, the molding was 
nailed and glued so the molding didn't make it. This is being put in the garage right now. We're gonna use this for some storage. And then someday if I do the sugar shack over, it will go in the sugar shack. So they're saying as long as it doesn't get dropped by them on the way out, we should be all set with this going in the garage. Fingers crossed. I hope it's not too tall. But pretty soon we're gonna see what's behind this wall. My hopes are that good Queen Bess will once again reign in the kitchen because I'm hoping she will go right there. That's the plan at least. And then we can go on end. Do you want it to go on this end or the bigger end? I don't care, whatever end you feel comfortable with. Oh, look at all the notes, I love it. This number, Whitney, Mrs. Williams cell. Oh. Bill Pearson rug. That's crazy, what was that? Then you can fill this box. Wow, plenty of wall space for good Queen Bess. What they're going to be doing now is taking off this end cabinet so that when they pad out this wall for when the cabinets come, which is still two months away, we're not going to be squeezing through. But this is the difference. I'm so excited to see this. When I'm sitting on the sofa now, I can see into the kitchen where before. The cabinet blocked it. And I'm gonna walk here. So now when I walk in, this will be the walkway and you can see all three doors completely open. I'm gonna be rebuilding these shelves here. We'll have a higher cabinet. Yeah, I'm excited. And Good Queen Best has plenty of space there. All right, I'm making a bit of progress here. I'm gonna go, and I'm working on one side for now, um, keeping my nice straight level line. I'm gonna be working here at the top, which is gonna be a little more difficult because I have that very crooked beam and I can't get as close as I want with this ladder. So I'll have to do some finagling here, but I figured I'll get the hard part over with first. I'll do the top and then I'll come down this side. Then I was going to wallpaper on the inside corner but I think for now, I'm just going to paint it and then focus on the rest of the room and decide if I want to wallpaper the rest or not. Like I said, this wallpaper is not fun to work with. I have never fought with a wallpaper like this other than the first time I used grass cloth. I was a new homeowner, I was 20 years old, put it up, looked great. The next day I came out and it was all rolled to the ground, most of it. So that's the only other time I had troubles with wallpaper. This one's just hard to work with. I'm actually working off of the floor because the dining room table is still full, the kitchen's full, my folding tables in the basement are full, and I'm, I'm okay with adapting. So I've just been working here on the floor and keeping it as neat as I go, throwing my scraps away as I go, having some larger scraps here to use. So I should be done, I'm gonna say an hour maybe less, but I keep going to check on the kitchen too. It's so fun to see the progress in there. I'm gonna give myself quite a bit extra to work with here. direction because it is so difficult to work with. See, it doesn't even crease. <laughs> Heavy duty, that's for sure. If you have wavy walls, this is the type of wallpaper that is great because it will really cover, or not wavy, but um, bumpy. This would cover really nicely.
before I fill it completely up with bottles and decanters, I just wanted to show you what I've done so far here. We've got our whiskey and our bourbon and some of our crystal glasses and some of my yard sale finds. I've had this that I found at, not. I'm sorry, that was a thrift shop, not yard sale. This was from a consignment shop. Um, and of course our little loving cup, I found that at a consignment shop. So I'm pleased how this came out. And now over here, I am playing with, I can see myself in the mirror, hello. I'm playing with these prints. I picked these up several years ago for Groton House that I was going to use in the tavern room. It just never really worked out. I never got them up. So I'm seeing if I like them here on this wall and I'm just looking at them against the Tally Ho wallpaper. And one of my, it's, I can't say it's a dilemma, but in Groton House, I had the board and batten starting quite high. But if I did that here on this wall, the prints wouldn't sit properly. So I'm either going to do this wall, possibly all wallpaper or all paint and then start it around the other side. This is something I can absolutely figure out as I go. Sometimes I just go with it and see what happens. Since I will be using this cabinet for dishes in the interim of our kitchen remodel, and I think even things that are in the cabinets right now, many will fit there because I've been really putting a lot of the stuff in areas that um, I hope I will remember where I put things. I'm slowly getting this table emptied. I'm finally gonna put the lift top chest to use because in that green cabinet and dust, oh, hello. Yeah, dust. Um, I'm gonna put inside this cabinet, in here will be tablecloths, napkins, linens, things that I will not be using for the season or even if I do, I know where they'll be. So this is finally gonna get use for a blanket chest, except for linens. So I'm gonna just get this lamp off here and I'm gonna take the items out of the green cabinet, fold them, put them away. When I ask you, where are my tablecloths and linens? Please tell me I put them in here. I can't help but wonder if I already have something stored in here that I would remember was in here. So I'm hoping it's empty. Yes, it's empty. So once again, I will be putting in items here for storage, and then I will be able to take them out and put them away once all of the work is done. Now what's being done is the wall has been padded out, so it's all one same level. And then I'm just gonna put that cabinet back in front so I have some space to put pots and pans. I made that decision last minute, just until all the other cabinetry comes in. But I feel like so much is getting done in just two days.